Today we are going to be learning how to interpret the remainder. That means when you have a division problem and it leaves you with the remainder, what are you going to do with it? So there are actually four different things that you could do with the remainder. So the first what thing that you could do is write the remainder as a fraction. So if you look like right here, you would write your remainder as a fraction. Way two is to drop the remainder. You just don't even use the remainder, okay? Because the word problem might not need you to use the remainder. Way three is to add one to the quotient. So instead of saying seven remainder four, we would just say, okay, well then this counts as another whole, and then we would have eight as our quotient. And finally, we might use only the remainder. So the question might be asking how many stickers will Kelly give to her sister? That's like the leftovers. So that would be just the remainder. So I'm going to go through two word problems with you guys today and then you guys are going to do the other two on your own. When you are answering them in your math journals, I want you to write which way you use um, in your answer. So first of all, I have um, this word problem. Let's read it together. So Tyler bought 145 inches of rope for a project. He cut the rope into eight pieces that were the same length. What was the length of each piece? Well, obviously the first thing that we have to do is we have to um, find our dividend and find our divisor. We know that we're dividing 145 by 8 because the question is asking what was the length of each piece. So we have eight pieces and a total of 145 inches. So what was the length of each piece? The way I'm going to do that is divide. So I'm going to go 145 divided by 8. I'm going to try and write fast, so I'm sorry if it's a little sloppy. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to use partial quotients. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to say, okay, I can do... 8 times 10 first, I'm going to take away 10 groups of 8 first, so that would be subtracting 80, which would leave me with 65. Okay, now can I take another group of 80 away? No, I can't because 80 is bigger than 65. So I have to find a little bit smaller number. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and choose um, 8 times 8 because 8 times 8 is 64, which is very close, but smaller than 65. So I'm going to subtract 64, and I have one left over. Well, one is smaller than 8, so I know that this is my remain my uh, remainder now. So I have my remainder here, and then I find my quotient by adding 10 and 8. So I have 18 remainder 1. All right, now that's not it because um, the question is asking me what was the length of each piece. I can't really see, say, if I'm trying to answer this correctly, I cannot say eight remainder, 18 remainder 1. What I have to do is I have to... Um, take this one because I have one inch left over okay so I had 145 inches I divide it into eight groups I have 18 um, inches but then I have this little inch left over okay so what do I do with this inch well actually when you're cutting up rope you can cut up that inch and you can put um, that into each of your um, groups so what I can do is I'm going to divide this one into eight groups now the way I'm going to write this is my 8, I'm going to still have my 18, but I'm going to put 1 over 8, 18 and 1 8 inches, okay? Now why did I put the 1 over the 8? Um, 1 is my numerator, so my, my remainder becomes my numerator, and the 8 which is my divisor, is my denominator. That's the way it always goes, 1 over 8. Okay, so we'll be practicing that in class tomorrow as well. But just know the numerator will be your remainder, and the um, denominator, or the bottom number here, is going to be your divisor, 8. 
So does that not make sense? 18 and 1 8 inches. That is how long each piece is. So that's my answer. So for this way, this time I used way 1 because way 1 was write the remainder as a fraction. I wrote my answer as a fraction so I know that that's what I did. Well, let's look at a second word problem here. Leah has 320 beads, and she wants to make 15 identical bracelets for all of her friends. She wants to use as many beads as possible on each bracelet. How many beads would be on each bracelet? Well, what I can do is I can first find my dividend, and I find my divisor. Okay, so I know I have 320 and 15. So I'm going to do 15 or I mean, sorry, 320 divided by 15. And again, before I figure out what I have to do with my remainder, I have to first actually divide the problem, complete the division problem. So um, I'm going to say, it, um, let's see here, I'm going to draw my line, can't forget that. Um, I'm going to do 15 times 10. So that would give me 150, which is smaller than 320. 15 times 10, subtract that from 320, which gives me um, 170. Okay, I can take another 150 away from that, so I'll do 15 times 10 again. Subtract that from 170, 170, I'm sorry. And I have 20. Now, can I stop there? No, because 20, I can still take another group of 15 out. I can only take one, but it's another group, so I'm going to have 15 times 1 here. Subtract 15 from the 20. And I would have a remainder of 5. Now, remember, I add up the number of groups I took out, so that would be um, 21. Ms. So, Cruz and Ms. Heider, sorry about that. I think I need the. All right, so I found my quotient. My quotient is 21, and my remainder is 5. So I will write that up here as, oops, sorry, 21, remainder. Now what do I do with this remainder? That's the question of the day. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here at my question again. Um, it tells me <clears throat> to look for how many beads would be on each bracelet, but she wants to use as many beads as possible on each bracelet, and she wants it to be an equal number. So what I have to do is I have to say, well, she put 21 beads, or I'm sorry, Hold on. Yeah, 21, sorry. She would put 21 beads on each bracelet, and there would be these five left over. So what am I going to do with those? Well, it just says how many beads would be on each bracelet. It doesn't ask me how many beads would be left over. So all I would do is answer 21. This is the case where, where you would actually just completely drop the remainder. Okay, so for example, in this example, it had seven remainder four, but all we're asking for is how many beads is she going to put on each bracelet? Well, she's only going to put seven beads on, and she's going to leave these other four alone because you cannot split beads up into a fraction. Okay, beads can't be divided up into a fraction, so I'm just going to have my whole number of 21, and I know that the way that I used was way two. Remember... When you guys are doing yours, I want you to record which way you used. Way two, which is um, drop the remainder. Don't even include it in your answer. All right, well, I have two more for you to do on your own. And um, I would like for you to put these the answers to these in your math journal. Please include your work. And please make sure you list what way you used um, for your remainder. What did you do with your remainder? You can use that sheet that was given to you today in class and um, make sure you record your answers. And when you are done, 
make sure you tell Miss Clemens or Miss Cassidy that you have watched the video and turned in the assignments. Thank you.